And we're looking into how this now changes the charges for the suspect who is under arrest. True crime correspondent Brianna Whitney is here. What can we expect? Well, there's a lot that's now going to happen behind the scenes when it comes to the legal aspect of this. So not only will the charges against suspect Saul Ball change, but there's a chance the state could seek the death penalty against him. This crime certainly falls under heinous and depraved, which is a factor in determining whether to pursue a capital case in death. But there are other factors the state will have to look at when it comes to Saul Ball himself. While the community now mourns the loss of a hero, the state must now work behind the scenes to figure out whether they will seek the death penalty against Saul Ball for taking the police officer Zane Coolidge's life. Ball was facing two attempt to commit first degree murder charges in addition to aggravated assault and burglary. But now it's likely one of those will change to first degree murder, giving the state the option to pursue death. In 2021, Chandler police officer Christopher Farrar was killed in the line of duty after being run over, allegedly by this man, Jonathan Altland. In that case, the state did pursue the death penalty and filed their notice to do so within that same year. But not all cases are the same. In Arizona, there are several factors the state must look at when it comes to pursuing the death penalty. Aggravating factors look at what evidence there is to argue for the death penalty. For example, does the defendant have prior convictions? Was the crime especially cruel and heinous? Saul Ball does fall into those categories with a lengthy rap sheet of felony convictions and the nature of this crime. But mitigating factors must be looked at too. Does the defendant struggle with mental health or disability? Can they understand the wrongfulness of their actions? Did they suffer from abuse as a child? All of this will now have to be considered for Saul Ball as the case moves forward. Generally, the state must file their notice of intent to seek the death penalty no later than 60 days after the defendant is arraigned. So this could be decided in the next couple months. But there are time extensions that can be granted by the court depending on the circumstances. Of course, we will be following this closely as it moves through the court system. Nicole, send it back.